protective ventilation tool or uh, PV tool is available on Hamilton G5 and is used to determine the uh, optimal PEEP for uh, ARDS patient and uh, determine the uh, uh, plateau pressure that should not be exceeded. In order to do that, uh, you click on Tools and then PV Tool. Of course, the patient should be breathing, meaning that he should be well sedated and possibly paralyzed. The tool is not available uh, in uh, spontaneous uh, modes, such as uh, uh, pressure support uh, mode of uh, ventilation or CPAP. Once you click OK, you get into this window and uh, you can see that you can give one breath. Uh, you can uh, define the starting pressure, which is a starting PEEP for the patient. And let's just say that this is uh, going to start from PEEP of 5. And we're going to go from PEEP of 5 all the way to uh, the top pressure, which is the peak inspiratory pressure of 35. And we'll do that at uh, a ramp speed of 30 of 3 centimeter of water uh, per second. That means uh, it will take 10 seconds to get from 5 to 35. Uh, once we get to uh, this pressure, we'll uh, go down uh, back to the peak at the same rate uh, of uh, 3 centimeters of water per second. We will not put any pause uh, here. Once we click start here, the pressure will start going up from 5 to 35, and then we'll go down back to 5. Well, what we'll see here, what we uh, will see here uh, on the uh, left graph, <coughs> uh, what happens with the pressure versus volume. The pressure is on the x-axis and the volume is on the y-axis. So let's get uh, this to start and uh, maneuver now is in progress. You will see that uh, the pressure starts uh, to go up here. As the pressure starts to go up, the pressure moves on the x-axis and once uh, the volume starts to get into the lung, we can see that reflected on the uh, y-axis. So the maneuver now is finished. So we can uh, analyze the graph. This is the uh, pressure uh, volume curve. And uh, we can easily identify three areas of different slopes. So you can see this is the first segment that has a very uh, shallow slope compared to the second segment here and then the third segment. So let's identify the segments using the cursors and we have the first cursor here. Once we move this cursor we can read the change in the pressure with the change of the volume. The green is the inspiratory limb of the curve and the yellow is the expiratory limb Let's just concentrate on the green limb of the curve. For a pressure of 5.2, which is the PEEP, we, see we have zero volume. As we go up on the pressure, you can see how the volume started to go up. So this is a pressure of 10. We get 21 ml of air into the lung. So we'll leave that. A cursor at the PEEP level and we uh, will get the second cursor down all the way to an area here where we think that there is a change in the slope of the curve. So I think it's going to be in this area here so I will get the, cur the cursor all the way down to this area. So you can see at this point here the cursor, the second cursor is reading the tidal volume of 45 ml and a pressure of 12.8. So now we can compare the second cursor with the first cursor readings and you can see we have a change of volume of 45 minus 0 divided by a change in the pressure of almost 13 centimeter water of mi minus 5. So the change of volume divided by the change of pressure 
defines the compliance. For this segment here, we can see that the compliance is calculated for us here, and it is about 6. So this is a very low compliance for this segment. For this segment. So now we can look at the second segment that has a better slope. So we'll get the second cursor all the way to the higher point, which is the uh, uh, upper inflection point. So I think it is going to be at this point here. So we can set the cursor at this point and you can see the tidal volume is 344 and the pressure is around 27. And the second or the first cursor will move it back to the lower inflection point that was at this point here. Now what you can see is we have this segment here and these two cursors are reading for me the change of volume divided by the change of the pressure and that is associated with a compliance of 21 much better compared to the initial compliance so this segment has a better compliance than this segment and it is defined by two points the lower inflection point and the upper inflection point now you can notice that there is a third segment here and let me get the first cursor to the upper inflection point and move the second cursor all the way to the right now I can define again the compliance of I can calculate the compliance of this segment which is around 11 notice that it is it has a lower compliance compared to the middle segment so by taking this cursors back to the lower inflection point and this one to the upper inflection point we can see that if we uh, ventilate our patient between the inflection the lower inflection point and the upper inflection point we will benefit the most out of our pressure that we put since this area has a better compliance has a better compliance than the initial area meaning that if we go down lower the inflect lower, lower than the inflection point we will end up with the recruitment of the lung and collapse of the alveoli so you really want to make sure that the pressure does not go lower than this lower inflection point in order to do that we define a, the peep at two centimeter of water above the lower inflection point meaning that my peep should be set at 14 or 15 for this patient at the same time looking at the upper inflection point here if I go up on the, on the pressure higher than 27 I end up gaining little of tidal volume so that tidal volume which is not much is going to be on the expense of higher pressure which might be injurious to the lung so I need to avoid going above the higher inflection point so my patient should be ventilated between a peep of 15 and plateau pressure of 27 or maximum 28 that will give you a driving pressure of uh, 28 minus 15 that would be driving pressure of 13 and that would be optimal for your patient with a RDS this tool can be used also to recruit along and we will do that in a separate video thank you